Typhoon Yagi, uh, Myanmar's junta asking for foreign aid. For more, let's speak to a man that goes by one name, Dr. Sasa. He is a member of Myanmar's exiled national unity government. He's the Minister for International Cooperation. Thank you for speaking to uh, Paris Direct. Just want to begin, first of all, the humanitarian situation, obviously very dire in the country already. Myanmar has been in turmoil since the military coup in 2021. Violence in large parts of the country. From what you're hearing, how has this storm exacerbated the humanitarian situation? Yes, thank you so much indeed for having me today. Uh, my country, Burma, has been suffering for not only these typhoons of nature disasters, but also man-made disasters on top of what the military coup have been doing. So now we are hearing many people are stuck on the trees, on the roof for many days, many nights, and they are stuck in and dying. And this morning, we hear that at least 100 bodies we are recovered, and many thousands of people are missing in this landslide or this flood. And the military has every opportunity to prevent, to evacuate the people, but it thinks they do nothing but draw the bomb from the sky to these villages. And they have done absolutely nothing. This is what the disaster that they want happened on the people of Burma. Do you think some of this could have been avoidable? You're accusing the government of an action. Why would they be appealing for international aid? This is not new things. 2008, there was a cyclone Nakis that killed more than 100,000 people of Burma. And the international community came and they refused any aid to enter the country. Instead, they used humanitarian assistance as weapons, as weapons to oppress more people. So now again, they are asking international community to help so that they can use aids for weapons. No international community must give any aid to the military junta of Burma. They are not a military that protect the people. They are the military that kill its own people for the last four years. In fact, they have killed more than 6,000 since 2021 coup. So, it is things, international community must help the people of Burma through legitimate government of Burma, that is national unity government of Myanmar. We are raising the funding to help the flood victims and the victims of man-made crisis and the victims of these nature disasters. No one should help the military through the military to the people because the people of Burma will not even get any aid that's given to the military. Well, on that note, Dr. Sasa, if you don't want foreign governments to provide this foreign assistance to Myanmar's junta, but rather to the exiled government, which you are a member of, how would you then route that aid into Myanmar if your own government is in exile? We have now 60% of the country are being liberated by our opposition forces. The freedom fighters are working day and night in this flat area to provide assistance. Yes, we are partially excited, but most of our teams, education, healthcare, these emergency assistance teams are there on the ground. We know all the mechanisms, it has been working. So what we are asking is, if international community give this assistance to the people of Burma through the military, we can karate, no, those aid will reach the people of Burma. Though they, that's why we are asking international community to give to National Unity Government of Myanmar, which is doing everything its power to provide assistance. So we have got the mechanism in place. We don't have the resources. We are asking the national community to do the, everything they can through us. Uh, in regards to the people on the ground in Myanmar, some of the most vulnerable places will obviously be rural areas or hilly and mountainous uh, terrain. Uh, since the junta came to power, getting reliable information was made more difficult in the country. Um, how are people finding out about what resources are available or how to find 
emergency and rescue teams or to seek out shelter? Now we have to be, uh, uh, we came to a realization that these international community help need to be localized, meaning that the local people know how to do. All aid given to the people of Burma must be decentralized. It cannot follow the way how traditional way used to do, meaning that these local people are spending some nights on the tree, some nights on the roof, and they are not having any resources. If they are given the resources, they know how to do. The local people know how to do with their life. That's the military. So we are asking the national community, yes, it's very difficult circumstances. Yes, it's a very, very critical moment that my country is facing dual disasters. One is made by the military, the other one is made by natural disasters. The people of Burma cannot survive anymore with this dual crisis. We need all possible help by international community to give to the people of Burma directly. It has to be direct aid to the people of Burma. And so are we, there any other, sorry to interrupt, are there any options that remind us about the presence or lack thereof of uh, international aid groups on the ground in Myanmar, or whether they've been expelled since the, uh, since the junta took power? We know that there's some international presence in Yangon. We know that there's international aid organization on the ground. But again, what we know is also that these international organizations are not free from the military junta framework of how to deliver this aid. But the military is making this aid impossible to reach the people of Myanmar by four cuts policy, cut of communication, cut of access, cut of health care, cut of uh, basic supplies to the people. So meaning is that that is the strategy and the policy that the military are implementing. Even though we have got international community on the ground, they are not able to deliver these aids to the most in need community. Yes, they can deliver some to Yangon, maybe they can deliver some to this part of the country, but largely, most of the country are being restricted local area by military junta imposed on international aid worker. They are not allowed to do what they have to do. Uh, and just one final question. You touched on it at the beginning of our conversation. Um, you said that the junta is trying to weaponize foreign assistance, but previously the junta has blocked or frustrated humanitarian assistance entering the country. So the sign that it's actually appealing for that help now, what does that reveal about the state of the junta? So we have to understand that my country now we need, before this nature disasters come, 19 million people of my country need life-saving assistance. They have already made 3 million people of my country homeless by the military junta aggression against their own people. So we are looking at these pictures. So 45 million are under the poverty line. So the military have proved themselves that they are the enemy of the people of Burma, meaning that anything that need to do with the military has to be avoided. They have to bypass everything, and they have to do things through legitimate government of Myanmar. The military are losing. These nature disaster could have been prevented if these people are evacuated before it come. They know that it's coming. They know that it was happening, but they do nothing to prevent. Instead, they block the people to go to those areas. They are not trying to do anything. They are trying to weaponize so that the people of Burma surrender to them. But the people of Burma will never give up, will never surrender until they get their own freedom. And, and one final point, uh, we saw figures coming out of Myanmar on Friday that over 30 people had been um, killed by the storm. Have you heard any updated figures as to the number of casualties? As of now, we have got uh, at least 300, 300 people been uh, been killed in this only nature. in Myanmar because the number we're seeing is 300 but that includes surrounding countries as well this morning the data coming to my desk is saying that at least they have recovered only one place 100 body and 300 are missing another report say that there is only only from this freedom fighter area 
we have know that 35 people body have been recovered. So there is communication cut off. There is no communication to many part of these places. So all my data is saying here already 300 number is big body has been founded. All right, Dr. Sasa, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for speaking to Paris Direct. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.